need to fix the lighting. I didn't realize how red I look on this camera. Hi, John. Seven months. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, everyone. How are you guys doing? Wow. I think. There we go. That's better. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, hello. chat? Thank you for all the subs. Wait, let me read out the subs first. First of all, uh, Meep, thank you for the 10. Sapphire, thank you for the 5. Roses, thank you for the 4. Esmo, thank you for the 7. Anton, thank you for... Uh, Anto, thank you for the 9. Azaila, thank you for the 10. Mika, thank you for the 13. I appreciate it. Azur, thank you for the 2. Uh, Quackshai, thank you for the 7. Um, Avery, thank you for the Prime. Uh, Real Sam, thank you for the Prime. Oh my god. Wait. It just it, it, it just updated. Ah! <laughs> Where am I? Andy! Thank you for the 18! Uh Nesquik, thank you for the seven. Um Shake it, uh, thank you for the four. Rebecca, or Rebecca, thank you for the prime. Oh my god. Faith, thank you for the seven. And Hurricane, thank you for the seven. Thank you, everyone! I appreciate it. Hello, welcome everyone! Welcome, welcome. I hope you're all well. I hope you all are doing well. I, re I like to repeat myself. <laughs> um, today we're reading Confessions. I'm really excited. Um, because, God, my poor mods. So, I have not... I, I posted... Hey, thank you so much, Ma Meredith, for sub. Um, I posted the link to the Confessions on my discord and then i posted it on twitter and i didn't look at it since at all and then today before the stream started i was like oh i should see how many confessions are there i'm like is that enough for a stream and i look and i'll, and I'll show you no no i'm not going to show you because i don't want to spoil you because i haven't read too any of them Ooh, i have not watched it yet but i think we're gonna watch it friday i'm not sure um but yeah that's cool uh, so I, yeah, I, I just I just looked at it. Wait, can you see it in my glasses? No, you can't. Uh, and I just scrolled and I scrolled and I was like, oh my god, we're a thousand, we're two thousand. What is going on? Why are there so many confessions? I was like, am I being trolled? Did someone like just spam it? Is there a bot in it? I wasn't sure. And I scroll and I scroll and I scroll and I'm like, oh my god, three thousand, three thousand six hundred. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> we have three thousand six hundred probably even more because the mods have like removed like obviously like the non the non-tos ones um so yeah we have a lot i mean is it, is it better without my glasses maybe i'll do it without my glasses because you can't see my facial expressions well today um so yeah we have a lot of confessions today a lot of confessions um if you guys want to chime in and do your text to speech. Hi, text to speech is either 500 bits or I'm five Ill, but I hope uh, euros, but you don't have so to. Game night? But as you can hear, uh, text to speech does say stuff. Game night was fun. Um, yeah, yay. Thank you, Phoebe. Yeah, it was good. We we played games. It was very enjoyable. I think we're gonna do it more from now, and I'm gonna make text to speech a little bit louder. Hi, Nikki. I hope you have a really great evening, and hopefully it will be fun for Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Can you please <clears throat> say hi, Penny? Hi, Penny. Carrot, carrot. I hope you will. Um. Okay. Nihachu Pat, Nihachu Pat. Thank you, Mara. Should we start? I don't know. Should we start, chat? Are we ready? Do we start with the first confession? Do we like just jump in already? It's been two Seven minutes. Hey, yeah. Soon I see, and pretty less than three less I'm than so three. nervous now. Thank you, Faith. I'm so nervous now. Okay. That's fine. H i i i i Nikki. You are Thank still you, pretty less than three. Love you. I appreciate it. Okay, I have. So I have this ready. We're gonna see the first confession. I already know the first confession, but the first confession. Hello, Nikki. Today has been so exhausting. Enough? I cannot relate to you guys. Always makes my day. I am not Thank American. You, for all you do less than three. How bad is living in Ohio? I wouldn't know. Is it bad? It doesn't exist. Ohio doesn't exist. 
Oh my god, they live in an imaginable, imaginary place. Good for them. Oh wait, is it? <gasps> okay. How do I scroll? There we go. Okay, second one. I Okay, these ones I don't know. I eat raw pasta in the middle of the night while everyone else is asleep. Raw pasta? Hi, Nikki. I was gonna I say like, okay, okay, also, pasta in the middle piercing. of the night, that's fine. I used to sneak out um, of my room to eat my midnight snack too, but raw? Less than three. I feel like out of everything, raw pasta is like, you know, it wouldn't hit the it wouldn't hit as well um in the first grade i accidentally hello, hello. punched a kid in the so nose for this stream. I'm ready for because the they were sharing their candy Hachi with everyone Hachi except Hachi for me, me. i mean how are you? i wouldn't I even have hit them accidentally how are you i hope your stream goes amazingly yeah it must have been accidentally and not accidentally they were sharing their sweets with everyone except you. Excuse me? I steal fruit from my job at the end of the day because if I don't eat, I'll have to throw it away. Um, I don't think anyone knows how many bagels and pucks of cookie dough I've crammed in my mouth. To be fair, though, I would do that. When I worked at the... Well, that's really bad. But when I worked at the homeless shelter... Um, everything that wasn't being eaten at the end of the day because it was already all spoiled and you couldn't keep it for another day so I would just bring months. it home to Don't my roommate to and be like do you want some food because you know it was it was already spoiled so I get that that makes sense okay we, we gotta ramp up we gotta ramp up the spiciness chat we gotta ramp up the thank you more okay uh, okay so this is how me and my best friend met we were in preschool i believe and we both were in the same class together but never talked to each other so the whole class got lollipops and it was a hot day so they wheeled a fan into the room and me and my friend were arguing who would stick their lollipop in the fan the teacher just said both of us can and since wait what Wait, what? Why would you stick a lollipop into the fan? Months. Your piercings look great. Hey, Georgia. Why would you stick your lollipop into the fan? The teacher just said both of us can, and since and since that day, we told each other everything. Wait, is that? Am I reading this wrong? Why would you stick your lollipop into the fan? Seven months already? We both I were in the same class together but never talked now. to each other. So the whole you class got lollipops today, and it was a hot day. So they wheeled a fan into the room and me and my best friend were arguing. Who would stick the lollipop huh. into the fan? What? I'm so confused. And the teacher you said you months. both can? You, you, you both can stick your lollipops into them? Are we talking about the same lollipops? Or is there like a word that I don't understand? Thank you, Sian. I am so confused. Okay, anyways. Um... Oh, this one is a longer one. All right. When I was five or six, I... When I was five or six, I was walking outside with my friend, as one does, and we came across the pat a patch of yellow snow. Oh, no. Oh, no, you did not. You already know what's going to happen. Oh, I no, you're not. I am a Nikki Fold shipper. I will repent now. And he told me that yellow snow means it tastes like lemon. So me being five, Nikki, I got some when I heart, ate it. Heart, growing heart, purple heart, yes, growing I spat heart, it out and yes, heart, I called growing, him a liar purple, and cried. Growing, oh heart, no! Chat, how many of you guys have eaten the yellow snow before? I have not. As far as I okay, can remember. Nikki, I have a confession. Sometimes when I am in offline chat, 
I make typos. One time I accidentally put Popcar instead of Popcat. I know, how embarrassing lol. Awful. Who would make typos? funny when I make typos LMAO. Who would ever make typos? You have? Okay, can we make a poll? Because I see a lot of people who say they have. And I do need to call you guys out. Let's make a poll of who has eaten a yellow snow. I don't think I have. I, I'm going to say it right now. I don't think I have. Okay, let's go back to the one confessions. <clears throat> Wait, can I like... I should do it like this. All right. When I was 10, I used to go swimming every day. And there was this cute boy. A uh, cute boy there. Eventually, we started talking for a couple of years oh years now i'm eight uh, i'm eight. now i'm 14 and i went to my most recent swimming lesson in february and he said what don't i know about you in a joking way it's important to know i really liked him and i still do and i accidentally panicked and said St an sti the room went silent and he never showed up again whenever i was there recently i found out he had a fear of stis and this is and to this day do not know hey, how to approach him about it right now oh I my god no yet but i fell into it face first when i was three my mother told me that xd oh okay okay that makes more sense okay yeah, how many of you guys have eaten four months pog it's almost a hundred. Almost a hundred people of you guys have eaten yellow snow. How, how many of the mods have eaten yellow snow? Mods, how many of you guys have eaten yellow snow? Some of you lying? Okay, Paris definitely has eaten yellow snow. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry about this confession, by the way. <laughs> okay, let's go for the next one. Um, this one is a big one again, so... Sorry, it's a little fiddly because I only have the dog. I didn't write them down or anything because I figured it's easier to just keep them in one place. Um, once I was a scout leader for a bunch of 6 to 10 year olds and there was this little girl who after finding out my age said that her big brother was the same age and that he would fall in love... Wait, and that we would fall in love and get married someday? I told her I told her I didn't know her brother and they will there were millions of people the same age so it wouldn't happen turned out I was the guy I went to guitar wait it was the guy I went to guitar oh shoot okay so so you were a, a, a scout for children and you knew the brother so she knew she had the intuition she had the intuition did you guys fall in love that's what i need to know i need to know if you guys fell in love that would have been such a cute love story imagine why when you get married your marriage story is like oh yeah like my little sister knew <laughs> that would be so cute okay uh my fall le leather boots squeaked in is it is it the start of it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry. Uh yes it is. Okay. There we go. No. There it is. Okay. My faux leather boots squeaked on those stools, metal and plastic you can sit on in science i don't know if they did that in germany stools metal and plastic i think I, I, they're probably like these ones right they're probably like similar to the one i'm sitting on because that one squeaks um it might be a british thing i mean you guys Yo, probably know two months thank you angelo uh but it sounded like a fart and everyone around me turned to me and for a few months there were rumors i farted <laughs> Oh no, it's science really loud. I just had to keep a straight face and brought it up. My biggest and confession was that like three and acted ago, confused. I like, why would anyone say that? SMH. No! Cheese lol. Wait, what? It caught on fire and I had no clue what to do, so I put it in a plastic trash bag, loudly crying. I was in middle school. I wasn't even that young, lol. 
seven months. Oh no, I missed that. What was that? Oh my god. My brother once burned a pizza in the microwave. Because he thought you had <laughs> He thought he thought you had to cook so we had pizza and it was like an already cooked pizza, like it was like delivered pizza and the next day he wanted to he reheat it and he thought you had to cook it in the microwave, so he left it in for ten minutes. Um and he almost set the apartment on fire. That was very fun. That was very good. Two months. Um I think it was two months. Okay, there we go. When I was younger I used to hate loud noises so much. I'd hid underneath the blanket whenever there was a thunder or fireworks nearby. Now I'm much more comfortable with them and i sometimes sit underneath my patient when it storms oh that's really wholesome i'm so glad that's a that's a really wholesome confession guys that person got over their fear of loud noises i wish that was me however i still get panic attacks when Six i hear how fireworks have a great day chat and have a great stream nikki thank you when i was in middle school i really liked one guy i love these I love when they start like this. I love when confessions start like this. More confessions like this, please. When I was in middle school, I had a crush on this guy. And I embarrassed myself because I was a child. <laughs> when I was in middle school, I really liked one guy. And one day, we were both assigned to sell some Christmas things at the school. Uh, at the school booth. So I asked him for his crush and he told me that he will tell me if i tell him my crush first so i had a little crisis but i told him that he is my crush and then he told me it wasn't me and then we just moved on here's my confession once i was eating chicken with my friend's family and asked does this have fish bones because i thought it was fish and it was so awkward i tried to play it off like i was talking about yesterday's food or something lol <laughs> <laughs> what? How did you? That must have been even more confusing. You're like, you're like, you're sitting at the dinner table with your friends. You're like, mm, guys, do these have like fish bones in them? And then th you, your friends are like, what? That's chicken. And then, and then you're like, oh no, I'm, I'm not this one. Like the the last one we ate yesterday. How does that even work? Uh, oh my god, I've kept a secret relationship for my. For from my friends for eight months that's impressive if anything wouldn't your wouldn't your significant other like wanted to meet your 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 friends or did they just think you didn't have any friends oh my god did did you did you tell your significant other you don't have any friends i'm so sorry stealth 100 true this this person has stealth 100 if anything they put all their points into stealth and deception. <laughs> um, I once had a sudden nosebleed in the middle of class and had to rush to the restroom to get a towel. Little did I know that all the blood dripped all of the floor of the school hallway on the way to the restroom. I felt so embarrassed. Thankfully, the cust custodians were able to clean it up before class ended. That's good. That's good. I was thinking we're going to have a murder mystery here on our hands. I was thinking we would, you know, have to solve have to solve some some crimes. Oh my god, guys, who died? Who died on the way to their bathroom? Once me and a friend had finished school and we wanted to once me and my friend had finished school and we wanted to cycle home, but I had to ride with her on the back. Um which didn't work because we kept falling over. <clears throat> then the teacher walked by to ask if everything was went well and we said yes so we had to laugh all the time and then drove into the bushes <laughs> what <laughs> I, I don't understand this one i don't <laughs> what once me and my friend had finished school and we wanted to circle home but you had to ride home with her on the back which why is that a confession is the confession just you told your teacher that everything's all right? I hope everything was all right. I hope you got home safe. Oh no, the 
this one's so sad. I'm so sorry. No, I'm so sorry. This one is so sad. Oh, oh, nah. we gotta move on. That for at least 10 years, I pronounced salmon as salmon, unironically. Once I figured it out, I literally cried because of how stupid I was loudly crying. No, I did the same thing. Don't cry about that. I did the same thing. I, I said salmon for the longest time. I, I thought it was salmon. I think it still should be salmon because there is an L in it. Stop confusing people, language. My god, this happened when I was younger. Family and I went to the public swimming pool. I was having my fun in the pool. Um, and I suddenly had the urge to poop. No, I didn't know what I was thinking, but I guess... It was just really, really urgent, so I poofed in the pool and placed it. Ah, you touched it and placed it at the very bottom of the pool. I quickly went out, told my parents I had I wanted to leave and we left. The pool was closed the next day for maintenance and a routine cleaning. Ew! No! You pooped in the pool? And then you had, then they, you closed your pub, you closed your public, you were the reason your public school, uh, school, your pool closed. Because you pooped in the pool. And you placed it at the bottom. No! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. Uh, to be fair, I knew a kid once who pooped in the sea when we were swimming in the sea in Spain. He pooped in the sea, and then everyone noticed. Everyone noticed because I was it was it was in our school, in our class. Everyone noticed, and we all ran out. And then he got sent home, and we did not swim that day. His excuse was, "Oh, but it lands there anyways." Okay, this one's a big one again. Oh, this one's a really big one. Okay. Uh, when I was a little child, I had the best guy friend. Ah. Um. Oh no, I had a best friend, guy friend. And when my parents got a cat and decided on an uh, and when my parents got a cat and decided on a name, but little child me had an idea because obviously I had to have the same name as it had to have the same name as my best friend. Well, in like first grade, he was together. F oh wait. Oh, in first grade, we was together for like a week and I never talked to him again. One problem, he lives across the street. So that's why I never use my cat's name to call for it. Oh no, that must be so awkward. Oh, what's this poll? We have a poll. Have you ever peed or pooped in the pool? Oh my God, a lot of people. Okay, you know what though? I feel like peeing in the pool is different than pooping in the pool. Controversial opinion. I don't think I would, I wouldn't pee in a pool, but I might pee in the ocean. <laughs> but I would not poop anywhere except for the toilet. Anyways, I'm so sorry for your confession. That is really sad. Hi, Nikki. Hope you are doing all right. And really Purple awkward. Heart. Thank you. I hope you're doing well too. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry, chat. I'm. I'm not your tech savvy streamer. If you want to see a tech savvy savvy streamer, go to Jack Manifold stream. So close to a Twitch baby, <laughs> less than three. Thank you, Carolyn. I appreciate it. I was skiing with my crush one day. Oh, I love these. Sorry, I just I I'm living vicariously through you because I have embarrassed myself in front of my crushes so many times. So just hearing that I'm not alone is great. <clears throat> I was skiing with my crush one day, and when she fell over, I skied over to try and help and accidentally sprayed her, sprayed her snow all over her neck. Sprayed snow all over her neck. Oh, no. You Wait, you skied over her? Oh, my God. I am so sorry. I hope you guys are okay. I hope, every, I hope that was like a romantic moment for you guys. A, a bonding experience, if you might say. Um... I had a crush on a girl a few months ago, totally adored her, and though she really could be someone I could see a future with, uh, and wait, and, and thought I re she really was someone I could see a future with, 
and that was the first time I ever felt this way. Um, so uh, uh, this way about someone. So we started talking a bit, and f it felt really good. I went on a night out with some friends, and she was also there, um, with a few friends of hers. I went over to the group while I didn't see her for a while, and she was kissing another guy. I became so jealous, and we really was really angry that, angry that I punched a guy later that night. That was the dumbest thing I have ever done. I still see her a lot and she still doesn't want to have anything to do with me. No. Oh my god. I am so sorry. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do though. You know. You only live once or something. I am bisexual, and when I was a freshman in high school, I didn't want people to think I was bi, so I made it look like I had an obsessive crush on my childhood best friend. Saw him at the gym recently. The second we made eye contact, he left. <gasps> no! Oh my god! I'm so sorry! That is so awkward! That is so awkward! Oh my god! I'm so sorry! <laughs> Oh, I can only imagine. I can only imagine the way you had to act around him for him to just not want anything to do with you. He sees you, he leaves. He's like, oh, fuck. He goes to his friends. He, or his, ah, oh, that hurt. He goes to his friends or his parents that day. He's like, yeah, do you remember that person? Like, yeah, I saw them in the gym today. I left. I had to leave. I wasn't finished with my set yet. He only just did a, did the warm up. You go into into the gym. He leaves. He didn't care. He came back later. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I by the way, I'm not making fun of you guys. I I hope I hope that's clear. I'm not trying to make fun of you guys. It's just I'm just trying to make light. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to have fun. I'm so sorry. <laughs> A few years back, I was living in a house. You know, everyone has had embarrassing stories and confessions. I did too. I mean, look at every single drunk cast that I ever did, you know? <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We're all here to embarrass each other and together and laugh about it. Yep. Don't worry, guys. We're good. <laughs> a few years back, I was living in a house with solar panels on top of them. But solar panels lose their ability to absorb electricity, um, as well as they should if they are covered with dust and dirt and other airborne particles. That makes sense, yeah. So I asked my dad... So I asked my dad... No, so my dad asked me to help him climb up the roof and clean the solar panels. But because I'm an idiot, I decided. Greetings from Austria, less than three. But because I'm an idiot, I decided to climb up for the, to the roof in flip flops. I think you can probably see where I'm going with the story. I fell off the roof, head first, but I was perfectly okay. Okay. How you may how you may be asking, I slid down the solar panels and mid air flipped, landed, and then rolled on the ground. I am not skilled enough to put these. To put these amazing feet. Wait, not good enough to pull off these amazing feet. It was all my subconscious. Okay, that's impressive though. I walked away with only a scar. Wait, it stopped. Wait, oh my god, I don't have enough. Wait, I don't have enough columns. I need to add another column. Here we go. Oh! Ah! I lost it. I lost it. There it is. Tech savvy streamer chat. That's me. There we go. Oh. Oh no, you can't see it. Okay, I I, I walked away with only a scar on my knee, which was my second scar ever. The only one. It's kind of a funny story for another day. Okay, interesting. That's good, though. That's impressive. I couldn't even do that subconsciously. Ah! Ah! My dog isn't actually homophobic. I've been lying on Twitter.com. Oh, my God. The truth is coming out!
Love you. The truth is coming out, chat! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna cry, someone says! Oh no! Oh my god, what if it really is the person that owns the homophobic dog and they just saw my confessions and were like, I need to tell someone. I need to let it out somewhere. <laughs> Thank you for making my days better and better. <laughs> Thank you, Alert. Nihachu, love. Oh my god. That's crazy. Have you guys seen the homophobic dog? <clears throat> you probably have. Who has not seen the homophobic dog? Um, this is kind of a funny one from one of my streams. I was planning on I was playing on my Minecraft server and forgot to change my capture from f for, for a full 15 minutes. No one of my mods told me and somehow that was the stream and I had 11 unique viewers which have never happened before. Oh no. Oh no. This is so sad. This is so sad. How did your mods not tell you? Whenever something happens in my stream, my mods, they, they're on it. They change it for me. <laughs> they log into my chat, uh, into my PC. They come home to me and change it for me whenever there's something wrong. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, we're like eight hours away. No worries. No worries. We can make it in five minutes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I have no proper life outside of Twitch and Valorant, except for doing something for uni. Um, I had more romances in my life than fe female interaction too. Hey, there's nothing wrong in that. I know so many guys who have better romances than female relationships, and that's fine. You'll find the right one. Don't worry. And there's more girls playing video games nowadays. Not that I say that video games should be a dating platform, but you can meet people through video games too. Nothing wrong in that. Don't worry about it. You're good. <clears throat> um, as a kid, I was on the school football team and I was getting ready for a match. I realized midway through changing into my sports kit that I forgot my football boots and shin pads but instead of using every bit of common sense i had and finishing getting dressed first i went out into the school hallway hallway whilst kids were in the middle of leaving the school and i and in only my sports shirt no shorts no underwear to grab the stuff i forgot i couldn't make eye contact with anyone one of my peers for a week i couldn't make I if I was in that situation, I don't think I could make eye contact with any of my peers for the rest of my life. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry that happened to you. But hey guys, Jack Wonderful shared his PP on Be Real. So don't worry. It happens to the best of us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll, I'll continue. <clears throat> um, although middle and high school, up until my junior year, I was raging. I was a raging woman hater, specifically pretty woman. Any girl who was pretty and attractive, I absolutely despised. At one point, there was this guy who I thought I was crushing on who had his friend. But this friend to it was a girl, a pretty girl. I hated this girl. All I could do was think about how much I hated her and her perfect face. Turns out I wasn't a misogynist, but in fact, I was a lesbian with very bad internalized homophobia. I'm glad you got over it. You know what? I'm, s I'm glad you figured yourself out. I'm glad you got over it. Congratulations. No one is going to hold that against you. That's what I call growth. I'm glad you grew. Congratulations on growing. That's amazing. I was actually the same for the longest time. Before I labeled myself, because I never really labeled my sexuality or myself. I actually, because I, I always knew I was attracted to girls, but I never really, because I'm, I'm, I'm bisexual, by the way, for the people who don't know. Um, I never really said that out loud or, or, or said anything about it. And I used to 
I used to be like, oh, girls are so cringe. Oh, uh, uh, I would never be friends with the type things that my little sister and I slept on. We had to get on the table in between to get up there. One day, my sister went to bed early and in her sleep she fell off and didn't wake up. So everyone just let her be. That cut off. What? Uh, anyways, yeah, I, um, let me quickly get that message up. Uh, I, I used to be like, oh, girls are cringe. I don't like girls. I don't want to be friends with girls. Ooh, she's pretty. If she breathes, she's a thought, like stuff like that, you know? But then I realized, no, I'm actually just attracted to them. And I don't, I, I didn't realize that. And, you know, oh, I, I, no, I don't want to download that. I want to go on my dashboard. Uh, I want to find my, sorry guys, I need to find the, um, thingy, the bits. Here it is, okay. One time, my family went camping in this one cabin where there was, uh, where there was, wait. One time, my family went camping in this one cabin where there were, almost bunk beds type things and my little sister slept on and I slept on. We had to go get on the table in between to get up there. One day my sister went to bed early and her, and her sleep fell off and didn't wake up. So everyone just let her be. In the middle of the night, my older sister woke up to some noise and my little sister just pulled herself up onto the bunk bed without using the table. She has no memory of this. Oh, oh my God. Your little sister just like. Currently Twitch priming my way through life, lesbian hey, pride. Thank you. But your little sister just, just, uh, just sleepwalked her way onto the bed. That's awful. <clears throat> I was at the Renaissance Fair with my brother, his wife and kids. Oh, I always wanted to go there. Renaissance Fair sounds so cool. And I had been up for 24 hours because I had worked the night before going and we were in one of the booth store boots booth slash, slash stores there and i got knocked it into which i wouldn't have been a problem if i hadn't been up for 24 hours and lost my fucking balance and i fell onto two people who then fell onto some other people and it was just a mess she couldn't i still even feel get up there awake like that either lmao oh my god that's creepy i still feel bad about that uh, but I think I'm more embarrassed. I think the worst part is it was Ooh. the fact that me and like two others fell. Uh, two others who fell at drinks and we spilled them. Oh my god, this is just a this is just a chain reaction. We spilled them onto ourselves. And I walked around the rest of the Renaissance Fair looking like I peed myself. No! No, this is the worst ending. I'm so sorry. For for now, I was like, oh, you know, you you got pushed, you fell, it's fine, it happens. But you had to go around looking like you peed yourself. Yes, it's the bad ending. No, this is so sad. This is so unlucky. <clears throat> um, yesterday I replied to Nikki's tweet about The Sims 4 saying she should play it, and in my dreams that night, I woke up to her going live playing the sims and then i woke up for real and it's like but for real in like cold sweat at 1am and checked if she was if she had gone live or not oh i'm so sorry i actually was i actually was gonna play the sims in like a few days as well <laughs> i'm so sorry imagine you is the reason is the reason you woke up in cold sweat because you dreamt of me H -I -I Nikki. I'm so sorry. You are doing good. Thank you. I hope you are too. <clears throat> um, confession. I used to swallow fruit snacks whole because I didn't know you chewed them. And I liked how it felt. What? Tickles the throat? Excuse me? I liked how it felt. That's what I don't understand about it. That's the sentence that scares me. 
I liked how it felt. Not feeling well, RN, but your streams are helping oh, no, a lot. Nihachu, better turtle, Nihachu, turtle, Nihachu, turtle. Thank you for the 26, though. I appreciate it. I hope these confessions make you feel better. I think I've accidentally come out to my sister by Spotify playlist. I never come out to anyone and we never talked about it. How? 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 I want to see your Spotify playlist now. <clears throat> this one might not be that juicy, but I didn't. But I did just walk home with a mega pack of maxi pads sticking out of my bag, covering the massive blood stain on the back of my pants. I wanted to evaporate the whole time. I'm so sorry. This has happened to me. Um, I had. Well, I still have really bad, like, just issues with my whole, like, everything. Um, and I've been bleeding for four weeks now. And I've been heavily bleeding. That's why, like, my energy is on the ground. It's in hell. My energy is in hell. But because I've been bleeding so much and I had to fly, I had to sit in a plane for 11 hours, this has happened to me. And it was the most embarrassing thing ever. So I, I agree. It's it's really, it's awful. I'm really sorry that happened. <clears throat> nice. I was on holiday and we were staying in a hotel and one night... <laughs> Just so really funny. Anyways. Um, I was on a holiday and we were staying at a hotel and one night... I needed fresh air, so I got up and went outside. And on the way back, I ended up going to the wrong hotel room with some random family. And then when I noticed, I sprinted out as fast as I could. Oh, no! That is so sad. Thank you, Quinn. Oh. Um, Quinn, wait. Let me find out. Uh, also, mods, if you could do me a favor. Fa favor. Um and just mark the ones that i've read before that would be amazing uh, okay confession i have fallen out of love with my partner of 20 plus months and i think i might be falling in love with my best friend it hurts a lot and i'm confused heck my life i'm not cut out for this oh i'm so sorry that must be brute okay i'm not the best relationship tips person but i genuinely believe that you can re-fall in love with the person that we that you're with if you're staying with a person for such a long time it is inevitable that your person is going to change and you are going to change and that very easily is going to make you grow away from each other and that's probably why a lot of the the, the relationships that are very long break but I think that if you, because, you know, falling in love with a person is, it's, it's a process. It takes time. You can, you can be in love, but, but loving someone takes time. And I, and I, I, I do think that you can re-fall in love with someone. But I do also think that if you think that this relationship is not, not going to be a forever relationship, and if you want a forever relationship, then don't waste your time you know there's like there's two there's two parts to this and it depends on how much effort and energy you are willing to put into this and how much outcome you see in this so yeah i hope you're all right though that's a really tough thing to go through <clears throat> oh another one i mean yeah it's all right. Uh, when I was really young, I used to have this penguin guinea pig named Rugby. <clears throat> um, I was like five and heard that word for the first time and I thought it was a really cool name. Rugby's a cool name for guinea pig, yeah. I was playing with Rugby by myself and I saw that the back door of my house was open. So I thought it would be fun for him to play in a natural environment. I got hungry, so I went back inside to get a snack and left rugby in the grass. When I came back, I couldn't find rugby and start 
started to hysterically cry. I then saw some spot of bird, some sort of bird swoop down across the yard and picked up a small rodent thing. I think it was rugby. Oh my god. I am so sorry. Oh, poor rugby. I'm so sorry. Oh god. We will remember rugby. We will remember rugby fondly. I'm so sorry that happened. <clears throat> I've held the secret for far too long. Oh. I confess that there's actually a way to subscribe to your favorite Twitch channel for free. Oh my god. It goes by the name of Twitch Prime. I think you link your Twitch account to your Amazon account. And you have a free Prime you can subscribe right now. Yes, right now to Neachu over to twitch.tv slash Neachu. Oh my god, is this real? It sounds crazy, but it's true. If you don't believe me, you can try it yourself. Any primers? That is so crazy, guys. That's 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 the craziest confession so far. Oh my god. I have never heard something more. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Not Near Two, for the six months. I appreciate it. And Left the Bean, thank you for the four months. This is crazy. This it's working, guys. That's so. That's crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. I know Twitch Prime is for free. Wow. Oh, talking about Twitch. Twitch Prime. Oh, thank you. Thank you for all the subs, guys. Thank you, Lani. And also thank you, Fryn. Uh, I'm tomorrow going to be on another Twitch Prime show. But, but, instead of that, uh, having like a 30-minute pre-show and then raiding over, I'm actually going to have like the whole pre-thing on my Twitch account. So I'm going to stream it. And then we're going to do the watch party over. So we're going to have a longer stream that's like produced and like some really cool things happening. So I think no that's going to be fun. Crazy. I know, right, Fran? That's crazy. But yeah, so that's good. I think that's gonna be cool. Um, I was so bad at a video game on my eight stream. Months. Wait, I think you're the eight, Shelby. Uh, I was so bad at a video game on my stream. The game company sat and watched me. That's an achievement I hold. Being so bad, I summoned the whole company to watch. Oh my god first of all what game was it second of all that is impressive that is impressive that is a that is a thing that you will forever be able to say you did i once had valorant ask me in my chat if i'm okay like the valorant twitch account came into my chat and asked me if i'm good they were like you good you okay I had to check up on me. I don't remember why, but that did happen. Yep. Thanks, Valorant, for 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 keep beat. I peed myself at my own birthday party in front of everyone. Oh, I am so sorry. I once peed myself in front of my cousins, and that's still one of my most embarrassing stories. I still feel really embarrassed because my my one of my cousins yeah one year older and then me my other cousin is a year younger so it's like no two years younger so it's like oh that's embarrassing when i was little i thought disneyland land was on a cloud <gasps> imagine honestly with the way with like how advanced it's getting i can see that i can see that disneyland one day ah oh. We're not getting any more context to this or anything. It's just just that. All right. Thank you, Rumi, for the sub. We appreciate it. I walked around. I walk around my room and pretend to talk to people because I have no when real you friends. you realize that confession about Twitch Prime, Nikki secretly typed that confession herself. <laughs> Don't tell them. Nikki. Don't tell them. Why would you tell them my secret, Nick? That's my confession. 
um i do that by the way i talk to myself all the time i don't i mean i my job my freaking job is to talk to myself <laughs> there is no shame in talking to yourself <laughs> It's okay. We all are a little crazy sometimes. Uh huh. A little, little quirky. Okay. I farted out of nervousness while taking a test. I That's fair. You know. Oh, thank you for gifting a sub to Nimki, bro. Appreciate it. Uh, you know, I. Over on Nimki, guys, my, my second Twitch account. We have. We're getting all the ads in. Over on Nimki on my second Twitch account. I talk even more to myself because I play video, like I play story games on there. You know, I don't just talk to yourself, to you guys. I also narrate the story games and say what's going on. Crazy. That's fair. I mean, yeah, I feel like I feel like it's fair to you know farting out of nervousness. It's fair. I I get really like like bloated when I'm not feeling well. You know, like I'm mean, like it's fine happens thank you pilates at least they didn't poop themselves that's what i'm saying <clears throat> one time in the third grade this kindergarten beat this kindergartner beat me up with a door because i called him stupid for not knowing what pie was <laughs> what the fuck this little toddler like this kindergartner picked up a door and beat the hell out of you A door? And you made fun of a kindergartner for not knowing what pie was? Yay. Oh my god. You guys, you guys are crazy. <laughs> uh, one time when I was in the car, I sticked my head out of the window because my brother dropped his toy and I accidentally rolled up the window um because my brother dropped wait my head out of the window because my brother dropped the toy and i accidentally rolled out the window and my head was stuck that is like a that is like a fear of mine i didn't think that would actually happen i thought when they were when the window realizes there's something between it it goes back down or something i thought i genuinely thought that was gonna happen i thought there's like a like a like a safety thing like a children's safety thing, you know? Oh, on old cars it doesn't. I see. Um, I'm non-binary and bisexual. Sexual. I have a homophobic family, so I can't come out. Well, you're welcome here. We're proud of you. Do we have a raid? Hello, raiders. Who's raiding? Name your streamer, everyone. Thank you, Styro, for the sub. I appreciate it. Um. So this one... So this one I hate to say, but I need help, like, a lot because my cousin's 13 and his girlfriend 14. Wait, because my cousin is 13 and his girlfriend is 14 and I'm way younger, like 12. Oh, my God. Yes, I know, and I like his girlfriend, but at the same time, the whole family hates her. What? Is going on? <laughs> what is going on? So you like your cousin's girlfriend, but she's two years older than you. And everyone hates her? I feel like at, tw at 12, I had different problems. Thank you, Rainbow, for the sub. I appreciate it. But you know what? That's fair. You you'll figure it out. I, I trust in it. I, tr I believe that you'll figure it out. For sure. <clears throat> I want to date my best friend, but they like another girl, and I hate her for it. Oh... I'm so sorry. I don't even know what to say. First of all, she's your best friend. Which is, like, that's already a good relationship. You have a good relationship. I don't think you should hate her for liking another person. 
you know maybe maybe she just doesn't have like a maybe she's she's just not she just doesn't have you on the radar you know maybe just talk to her about it if she's your best friend then i'm sure she'll you'll figure it out <laughs> Wait, I scammed someone out of $150 that I got to keep for myself. They got 45 Oh, God. That's a bit scummy. Just be rated. Thank you, Just be for the raid. I appreciate it. Sorry that it took so long. I didn't see any names, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hope you had a good stream. We're reading confessions right now. We're reading people's confessions. Very fun. Very nice. Um, I don't like coming out to boys as a lesbian, so if they catch feelings, I can see the shock on their face. <laughs> that's a power move. I mean, not really, that's kind of toxic, but it's all, like, that's toxic. No, don't do that. Don't lead them on. They don't deserve that. Chat. <laughs> you know these, like, where's my phone? These, like, these, like, it, these, like, edits on TikTok that are, like, it's mainly like boys rejecting girls and then there's like there's like a lot of like clips of like super muscly men being like he's an alpha male and like stuff like that and that's what it what it feels like that's what it feels like <laughs> <clears throat> one time when i was like 10 i was over a friend's over a friend's house and i didn't make it to the bathroom so i peed all over her floor and her dog started to lick it up. I cleaned it up, obviously. But they got to it before I could. No one ever found out. Ooh. That's Roth. That's a Roth one. Oh, no. That's that's Roth. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. 13 months and you look beautiful as always i hope you have an amazing and i'm honestly loving the new piercings less than three thank you i appreciate it sorry i'm in shock i like to microwave cereal and eat it why that's all okay i like cheese i like cheese too cheese cheese is nice cheese is a good one I want to stream because I love to tell things to people, but since I want to do it in English, I'm too scared to start. Um, everything is ready, but I'll never start. Oh, just start. You will never, you know, you will never know if you like it or not if you don't try it. Just start. Just try. Trust me. I'm a German streaming in English. And I'm fine. You know, sometimes people say like, why do you say this word weirdly? Why do you sound like that? And I just say, because I speak more language than, languages than you, bitch. And then they're fine. Then they're shut up. You know, it's easy. It's simple. <clears throat> My best friend told me he loved me, then proceeded to block me everywhere the second he got a girlfriend. Wow. What a scumbag. You don't, you deserve better. Easy. Thank you, Lucy. Months, let's go. I appreciate it. I slept through my dog giving birth in my bed twice. How? Twice? I feel like after the first time, you kind of like know what happens. So you're like, oh, my dog's giving birth right now. In your bed? I guess I knew that's something comfy. <laughs> Aren't they loud? I've never seen a dog give birth. I don't really, I don't think I want to see a dog give birth, but I feel like they would be loud. Because cats are. <clears throat> I stole my friend's expensive jewelry and blamed it on our other friend. Well, they don't talk anymore. And me and the friend I stole from are better friends than ever. Oh my god. Wow. 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 
wow i don't even know what to say that's toxic <laughs> <clears throat> when I was in fourth grade, I hated my teacher and she hated me. So I'd wait until she left after school and stole all her candy. And I and I did that multiple times. Now I feel bad, but also wasn't caught. So that's kind of hilarious now. You just, as a fourth grader, as a fourth grader, you just kept stealing your teacher's candy. That's, that's a power move. You know, that's, that's don't steal people's jewelry steal their candy but also don't because stealing is not good but like if you're a fourth grader and you don't like your teacher that's okay i guess you know that's what i say that's my motto you hear me say that all the time that's what i you know what i'm known for to say <clears throat> one time at marching practice we had to march backwards and the person behind me was going so slow uh too slow so i stepped on their foot and tumbled to the ground i think that's fair that happens that's pretty embarrassing though but that happens it's only practice as well so you're good you're good don't worry i accidentally kissed my best friend when i was in preschool we are both girls i found out later that i am bisexual and i did in fact have a crush on her for many years she never knew how do you accidentally kiss someone but that's really sweet just tell her <laughs> just confront her the german in me is like confront her tell her just say what you think <laughs> that's the german in me <laughs> <clears throat> I think I have a crush on my best friend's boyfriend, but I can't tell if I just hate him. Ooh. Wait, so you think you either hate him or you have a crush on, on your best friend's boyfriend? Wait, I just realized that. Ooh, that's difficult. That's difficult. I feel like that makes, like, your whole, like, just relationship really difficult i'm so sorry <clears throat> i've walked into doors so many times like you would think i would learn but no <laughs> into the door i go oh no oh no you're just really clumsy enemies to lovers someone says for the people who are wondering like how do you not know if you have a crush on them or if you don't like them when you like it, it, I, I, what how i see this is as like they probably Ha like have such strong feelings towards them that they think about them all the time but they don't know if they're positive or negative they don't know if it's a crush or if it's hate you know um i once got all the cops called on me as a kid because i didn't want to go all <gasps> wait wait excuse me i once got i once got the cops called on me as a kid because i didn't want to get off roblox so my mom chased me with a clothing hanger and I ran into the bathroom screaming. She called the cops on you because you didn't want to get off Roblox? Oh my god. What a gamer. What a true gamer. I lost my mouse. There it is. I found it. What a gamer, honestly. Oh, I'm autistic and ashamed. There is no reason to be ashamed for not being neurotypical. You're fine. And you will be fine. Don't let other people make you feel like you're worth any less than you are. Thank you, Hugiba. Um, I'm in love with my best friend. We're both trans uh, FTM. And I have no clue how to tell them. I've been almost three years, it's been almost three years, and it's starting to make everything awkward. You know what the German in me is gonna say? You know what the German in me is gonna say? Just tell them. DD less than Thank you, Nina. I appreciate it. But also, I don't know, because I say that, I say that, and then... I'm like, but what if the like, but what if you know it's gonna make everything awkward and then you don't want to? Don't listen to me if you know better. <laughs> but if you need someone to tell you to just tell them, just tell them. 
You know? That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> uh, I bought a sled to my school and rode down the stairs. I landed right at the feet of the vice principal and got off scot-free. Because my history teacher lied to cover me. Best experiences, best experience of my life, 1010. Oh my god. What a W history teacher. What a great history teacher. My history teacher. My actually no, my history teacher was cool. He played League of Legends. And I did. So yeah, that was cool. Excuse me? I pissed and shit on the carpet and blamed it on my dog. But why? But why? Amber heard. No. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know how to say this, but I like my guy best friend's girlfriend. I think she likes me back, though. Ooh. Do you really think she likes you back, or are you just imagining that? But also, we had. There is a lot of these. We have a lot of these who people are have crushes on, like their friends or family members partners that's really interesting that's messy oh yeah i'm currently very much in love with my best friend oh man guys guys i'm so uh, i'm so sorry <laughs> tell, tell them it would be so cute Aww. <clears throat> um, I've been lying to people for fun and telling him, telling I'm half French because I speak French, but I'm not, and people can't come over because I said my dad's French and he's obviously not. So now I can't have people over. Mama, oops. Oh no. When the lie goes too far. When the lie goes too far. Oh no. Oh no, you messed up. You messed up. <laughs> I think I'm beginning to have a crush on my best friend. No! Why? Why? <laughs> Everyone! You're gonna be okay! <laughs> oh no! Oh. Uh, please tell me how, how I confess. Uh, you have to... Uh, well, I think we have an exclamation mark confessions in chat. And then you could get the link to the Google Forms. And then you can write a confession. But just remember, we have a lot of confessions. So it might take a while until I get to yours. Just a bunch of hopeless romantics. It's so sad! Oh man, I get you though. I had a. Did I ever have a crush on my best friend? I had a crush on like friends. I love how the confessions go from really sweet or like, I have a crush on my friend, to immediately, I peed on TH. I know! I know! And it, it goes between it too. It's like, I peed on something. I have a crush on my best friend. I once had diarrhea and I blamed it on my bunny or something like that. I don't know. Um What am I saying? What did I say? What did I say? I literally we literally just said it. We just talked about it. Oh my god. <clears throat> One time during the gym class during gym class we were playing this game sort of this game sort of like basketball and I hit the ball but it was like a really shitty hit so i then hit the ball again twice hit it twice in front of my gym class wait what i don't get this one i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't understand this one Good for them. Good for you. <laughs> I'm sure that must have been really embarrassing. <laughs> uh, 
um when i was young six or seven i would pick my nose and put the boogers underneath my bedside table and knock them off wait and knock them off when they dried a week le week or two later ew ew your poor parents <laughs> oh no you know what at least you didn't eat them right that's fine i guess you were six or seven i feel like as a six or seven year old most six or seven year olds would eat their boogers <laughs> um hi nikki i love you thank you uh one time i was playing around and fell and made a hole in the wall and i blamed it on my brother and he had to pay for it to get fixed wow that's a big brain move i guess my brother once ate my bed and that's not even a lie he ate my bed he yeah i know that's what i'm saying chat he used to eat wood all the time and he like kept chewing on wood and yeah i know he's fine now but yeah he like he didn't like completely eat it but he took a bite out of it yeah <laughs> i just joined welcome to the stream i covered my parents whole house in chocolate and still haven't apologized if they deserve it uh once i took my mom's wallet and bought dreams merch and something called star coins it was over six hundred dollars and i'm not proud oh my god wow don't do that don't take your parents credit cards guys that's all i can say i'm glad you're not proud of it i'm glad you see that that was a mistake and you realized i hope you told your mom and you apologized wow hope you're enjoying dreams merch though less than three thank you key i appreciate it all right i've got the key um so when i was younger like eight or nine years old i went to this forest and to this forest that was behind my cousin's house um and so me and him went to the a uh, that uh, ab abounded tree house oh abandoned tree house that was about a mile and a half into the woods and it was just us so we didn't know anything at the time and he liked me and i liked him back so we decided to kiss and then i ran back to the house not knowing what to do and then my uncle says hey are you all right and i said yeah i'm fine i'm fine and we never spoke about it and i haven't seen him since that day I was on a cadet camp and made out with a boy. Everyone found out, but somehow we managed to keep it away from staff. So risky. It's now a thing every cadet knows about. What's a cadet? I don't know what a cadet is. Also, I think the reason why you didn't see your cousin again is probably your cousin probably told someone and then they were like, Nope, that's the last time you're seeing your cousin. I have the biggest crush ever on my best friend and i don't know how to tell him i'm thoroughly convinced he likes me back but it's so scary hey if you're convinced you like he likes you back you'd rather want to have the clarity right just tell him we literally have cadet in german what is it cadet means Oh, a student in a military, naval, or police school. It's literally what my brother does. <laughs> How did I not know? Uh, that's cool, though. Good for you. <laughs> uh, I betrayed my friends of 11 years for someone 
that they weren't the nicest to about a year ago. They still refuse to talk to me. Hey, if I mean, I don't know. I'm genuinely so I once I didn't cut off my whole friend group, but I once like I was in a really big fight with like my closest friends and realized they weren't that good of people. And I was like, hey, I don't need that and just moved on. And I think that's what we should live by. If the people that you surround yourself with are incompatible with you or don't have the same views or ways they interact with other people, then, you know, whatever. You'll find new friends. You'll find other friends. <laughs> As you should lay. <laughs> um, when I was a kid... I like wait when i was a kid i like was mixing water with crayons okay you were mixing water with crayons and told my friend a friend of mine to drink it or else i'd stab her with a normal knife i was about six or seven. Oh my god that escalated that went from yeah i like to you know i like to do potions as a child like just mix like mud and everything together and then I told people that if they don't drink it, I'm going to stop them. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I hope your friend is okay. That sounds like a traumatic experience. <laughs> Did they drink it? <laughs> oh god. A normal knife. Yeah, it's a normal knife, guys. So my ex left me for their best friend. They told me not to worry about. Okay, scumbag. After breaking up via text. What the fuck? So yes, I'm doing good. What about you? You don't deserve that. That is literally the biggest... That is literally the biggest red flag. Not even red flag. That's like just red. Just don't. Fuck him. Whatever. Like, don't fuck him, you know? Lots of love. Holy shit. That's like the that's like that's like the most cliche, the most cliche fuck boy thing to do. My God, I'm so sorry. I am really enjoying this laughing face. I'm good. Hell yeah, thank you, Joyloid. My confession is I'm in love with my partner. I've never been more in love, and they make my quality of life better every day. I love their uh, their smile, eyes, hair, literally everything about them is amazing. We want to move in together when we're older and have a cat named Bug. They're the love of my life and I can't imagine my life without them. They make me a better person. Aww. That is so cute! Your partner is very lucky. And so are you. Thank you, Jersey, for the sub. Oh, my heart. Okay. Anyways, guys. Oh. God. Hi. I find Jack Manifold unironically attractive. Okay. Where is it? I have the perfect thing for these situations. One second. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Wait. 
Wait, should I tell him though? Someone said call him. I don't know if he's busy right now. I don't know what he's doing right now. Let's see if he picks up. I think I'm gonna keep the image up a little longer. It's just so nice to look at. I guess he's busy. I guess he's busy. Well, maybe he'll call me back. We'll see. Anyways, next one. When I was seven, I fell in animal poop and licked it off my face. I do not recommend. No. I do not recommend. Do you at least know what animal it was? <laughs> my first crush was a girl and everyone thinks that my crush was a boy when it really wasn't. Did you tell them it was a boy? Or did you, did, do they just think that? Orange is a very weed fruit. Why does it taste like that? I like oranges. I think oranges taste good. I like them. My, I got my period at a restaurant once and got blood all over the sofa seat. I panicked and just put a pillow on it and then left. I mean, what do you do in that situation? I guess you could tell the staff and be like, hey guys, sorry. And then there's blood on your sofa. And I apologize. But like, I think most, most people in panic probably would do that. So don't judge yourself too hard. When I was little, I asked my mom if I could steal a figure. Not long story short, she kept. She, not long story short, she let me keep it, and I still have it to this day. Your mom let you steal something? Oh my god, that's crazy. <clears throat> I don't really want to be a therapist. I want to be a bartender or a stripper. Why not be both? Here's an idea. Be both. I dated someone a while. Uh, and while doing so, I found out, out I was aromantic. Uh, so I lied to them and told them I cheated on them. So they will break up with me. Because I loved them so much, I didn't want to break their heart and tell them I was aromantic. So I kept lying about being a bad person and they kept forgiving me. They're so kind. Oh, this is a tough one. Because I feel like you would hurt someone more by telling them you cheated on them than telling I them. I wish I could stay. I work at an animal rescue place romantic. and they found a baby fox that was abandoned because it only had Ooh. three legs. And I need to go help them make sure she's okay. Have the best stream. Sending we'll make hugs. sure she's okay. But yeah, I mean, bless both your hearts. That's a tough, tough situation to be in. But I just believe in honesty. And I feel like, you know, you should be honest with your partner. Especially with your partner. <clears throat> I once texted out an entire theory of si synopsis on an anime that my sister and I enjoyed um, and thought I sent it to her turns out I sent it to my uncle he forgot about it but I never have I've been over it's been over a decade oh that's kind of cute I think that's fine that's that's not too bad you know it depends on what anime though see you why are you so embarrassed about it what anime is it yeah i thought so <clears throat> i asked my mom if i could wear one of her favorite necklaces to school and she didn't want me to but i begged her and she gave it to me and when i got home 
I put the necklace in my mouth and accidentally swallowed it. And she asked me where it went and I said my friend took it. Why did you put it in your mouth? Oh no! Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I remember this one time back in third grade where there was this group of boys who made my best friend cry. I ended up running after them in a dress, hitting them with pencil cases. It's something that has been with me for a long time and now... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I ended run up running after them and hitting them with pencil cases. It's something that has been with me for a long time and now threaten to beat people with pencil cases if they're not nice to my friend. Aw, that's kind of nice. That's sweet. Hell yeah. As they deserve. My mom always said to my brother, because my brother, my brother did used to get in lots of fights, but sometimes he did. And my mom always said, never be the person that punches first. But once they punch you, you know, punch them. And that's true. Don't be the person that throws a punch first. But if they do, defend yourself. I don't know. I don't know if I'm. I, I don't know if I'm the best role model today, Chad. I don't know what's going on. I'm in a. I'm in a mood today. I feel like I'm in a mood today. <laughs> <clears throat> don't punch people. That's what I say. My mom says to pu to punch people. I do, I say don't punch people. <laughs> Or something like that. Me and my friend made a deal. Anytime he misgenders me, I get to slap him in the face. It happens a lot of... Um, it happens a lot of school. And I think it's funny just seeing others react to him getting absolutely smacked in the middle of class. I mean, that way they probably learn. Hopefully. Or maybe they like it. Careful, maybe they like being slapped. I secretly hate one of my friends. I'm pretty sure they're in love with me or something. And I don't know how to tell them I don't want to be friends anymore. What do I do, Nikki Niachu? Just tell them. If you already don't like them, what do you have to lose? You don't want to... Like, you don't want to romantically, or even in a friendship, lead anyone on. If you feel a certain way tell them how you feel you can do it in a nice way you don't have to be rude to people but be honest <laughs> you know there's no reason ever to be rude to anyone but there is always a reason to be honest <laughs> and if you don't like them again what do you have to lose I ruined my socks with splatter paint today. I'm very sad. At least my shoes are okay. Oh, also, I like the grass-flavored jelly bean. There's a grass-flavored jelly bean? I didn't know about that. But I'm glad your shoes are okay. Oh, for being boozled. Oh, I didn't know they had grass. I thought it was vomit. I thought the green one was vomit. Um, when I was back in the kinder in like kindergarten or something, my class was doing a performance thingy in front of all our parents um, and school. But my twin sister didn't like that my class got to go before hers. We were in different classes. So she came right onto the stage and pulled my pants down. I thought that was going to be wholesome. Oh my god, no being me, I obviously did the same to her. And we started tickling each other on the floor. I don't remember the aftermath of that, but oh boy. Ah, I thought this was going to be really wholesome. You know, my friend went to... Yeah, my twin sister didn't like that she went, that I had to go, for, go went to first. So I let her go first and like we changed places because we're twins. And everyone thought like was like, oh my god, that's crazy. But... <laughs> I did not expect that. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. Oh my god. 
Never let them know your next move, chat. Never let them. Yay! Another one! <laughs> Let's go. Pug. Um, I was kissing a boy and almost throw threw up when he stopped kissing me and asked me and he asked me if I was okay. This is how I'm sure that I am gay. Oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. That poor boy. He must feel so insulted. Where's Jack Manifold? Where's Jack Manifold when you need him? Ooh. I accidentally pressed something. Oh, okay. Okay, we're here. Thank you, mods. Uh, I slept through my dog giving birth. My bed was. Oh, we already had that one. Wait. I slept. I I bought us. No, we already got that one too. I once ate a flower of some sort and started smelling the color green. I actively booked, looked for the plant again, after the effect was over. I don't think, I don't think you, I don't, I'm currently very much in love with my best friend, no, <laughs> another one, you guys, you guys, oh, we already got those. God, where were we? Oh, we, are <laughs> we already got that one too. Oh. Thank you. My mods just showed me. Thank you. Thank you, mods. Okay. This is where we are. Oh. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Anyways. I had the smell of flowers, nothing against them, but I can't stand the smell. <laughs> oh no. I mean, fair, you know, not, that's fair. Uh, I do like the smell of flowers though. I think flowers smell pretty, pretty nice. When I was six, I got third degree burns on my leg because I saw blue fire and thought it was cold. Note to self, if I ever have a child, Teach them that blue flames are not cold. <clears throat> I once stole a pack of sugar from the store because the brand name was Daddy. And all I could think about was how good of a joke it would I could make with that. In brackets, sugar daddy. So you stole it? Nice. Nice. When I told when I first told my girlfriend I liked her, it took me a couple of hours before I kept teasing her. She sent a photo of a box that said yes and one that said no. I just ticked a box and made myself wait, I just ticked a box and made myself called yum. I told her eventually. That was the end of wait, what? When I first told my girlfriend I liked her, it took me a couple of hours because I kept teasing her. She sent me a box Do I just not understand this? She sent me a box that said yes and a box that said no. Just take the box. I made myself and called Yum. I told her eventually. Oh, you told her you love her eventually. So you just did another box. Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, that's cute though. Uh, when I was in sixth grade, 
I was a bitch and the teachers and principal hated me. So I was called into the office and the principal kept muttering first time loving this you're in Nikki. here for not you're doing something bad person, and i hope i find someone like you in my Aww. life smiley face thank you i appreciate that um so i picked up a lamp and threw it at her and told her to lighten up oh my god that's savage oh that's smart I don't think I I don't think I could come up with that one. Wow, what a girl boss. What a what a power move. Wow. I once called my teacher mom. I I think I did that before. I feel like that's I I don't know. I I feel like that happens. Right? I think I think that's normal. I've called I'm pretty sure I've called my teacher mom before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's 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 totally normal. Don't don't be bad about that. That's fine. It happens. You know, like that's not not weird at all. I used to eat Play-Doh as a child and the teacher never stopped me. Interesting. But I feel like Play-Doh just doesn't taste good. They make Play-Doh intentionally taste bad so people don't eat it. In the fourth grade, I married the school bully. I regretted every day. Tabo actually once um, ate, like, when we when we were in Florida, he ate, like, a tub or two tubs of Play-Doh, and then he felt sick and his stomach hurt. That's a story. I regretted every day. Uh... When in fourth grade I married my school bully, I regret it every day because now in tenth Good grade evening. and people still talk about it. Oh, oh, hello, Jermaine. Good evening. Uh, oh, that is that is so annoying. But maybe the reason he bullies you is because he's embarrassed about it. You know, he has some internalized embarrassment. Later in July. I was at a friend's uh, last year. What? Why did I say later? Last year in July, I was at a friend's house for three days to spend time with her. Why can't I read her now? To spend time with her for her birthday. I was at the house while she worked. Uh, where she worked the day. Um. Before her birthday, and her mom called up asking if there was any syrup the bottle in her room i grabbed the bottle and made my way down the steps i thought it was the bottom of the steps but i was about three four steps away i slipped and that's how i broke my foot by taking a bottle of syrup downstairs it's okay you can laugh i find it very funny i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i hope your foot heals quickly don't worry, my brain went completely somewhere else. I thought the bottle of syrup was something else and your mother didn't realize and then your friend told you, you know? I'm glad it was only that. We've had some we've had some tough confessions today, chat. They were actually they were mostly tame. They've mostly been tame, which is good. Actually, I don't mind. They can be they can be they can be weird. Uh, once caught my 68 year old dad jerking I take it back I take it back guys please I take it back I, I don't want them to be anything I I don't I I I regret what I said I I regret what I said and I will I will shut up now yep Hello, Nikki. Once I ne really needed to pee in the car. I think I was four or five. So I peed in an empty bottle. Hey, thank you, Nate. Um, in an empty bottle. And my brother thought it was juice, so he drank it. And I never told him! <laughs> what is going on? How did he not notice true? 
I mean, I don't know how pee tastes. What if pee tastes like juice? Ugh. Anyways. Uh, I was in the city with my friend. I have no idea why I thought that I should call a bird my dad. I was embarrassed for a week after this. Oh, nice. So we're calling birds dad now too. Nice. Not just teachers. I remember once I was in a train and the train was empty. Just me and my mom, so, or so I thought. I was on a show garage. I got up and started dancing and singing. But when I turned around, there was a man sitting, oh no, sitting right behind where I was standing. He, he had his headphones on, but I still believe he heard me and probably saw. But after I saw he was there, I was paranoid the whole back, the whole trip back. Hey, that's a, that's a main character moment right there. Am I right? You just lived your whole, you just lived your, your main character moment. That's all you did. Don't worry. I'm sure he understood. <clears throat> I still have all of the love notes and poems from my boyfriend when we were 14. And I like reading them. Even though I haven't seen him in years. And have no idea where he is even. Lol. I'm doing a lot better now. I hope he is too. That is really sweet. I used to do the same. I used to... I had a book where I wrote all the things in that I wanted to tell my back then, not even boyfriend, my back then crush. Um, and I kept that for years. But when we broke up, I burnt it. Because we did get together eventually. And then it didn't work out, so I burnt it. Thank you, AJ. AJ Slotel, Axolotl for the sub, I appreciate it. Come on. <laughs> yeah, but no, it was really cute. I wish I didn't burn them no like nowadays, now that it's been so many years. I wish I didn't burn them because I, I do think it was really cute. And I did write some some interesting things in there. I would I would I would have loved to read them to you. They would they would have been German, but I probably could have translated them. That would have been such a funny thing. Oh man! Oh, that's so sad. I wish I did that now. But I don't think... No, I don't think I have anything from then. Oh, man. <gasps> I'm so offended you skipped my bits. I did? I did! I'm so sorry. Thank you, Nynek. I do remember you. Your name does sound very familiar. I'm figuring you are a long time viewer. Hello. Um, wait. Oh yeah, here. Okay. My mom was supposed to pick me up. My mom was supposed to pick me up when I got into the car. I directly started crying because I had a shitty day until I realized that was not my mom besides me. Oof. Oof. Oh no. That is so bad. I'm glad you're okay. I had a crush on my IRL. She found out by one of my friends telling her. Uh, I did. Uh, telling her I did. And then when she confronted me, I didn't go into school for two weeks. And in the process, I missed the show we were supposed to sing duet in. Oh, no. Why? Thank you, Mr. Yumi. Did she confront you in a bad way? I'm so sorry. Aww. Oh, that's so sad. One time when I was on vacation in Greece, I was swimming around in the pool and for some reason I thought it would be a good idea to breathe underwater. It resulted in me puking for a minute and they had to close the pool for the rest of the day. No, it's the second person that had to close a pool. It's the second person that was responsible for a pool closing. Oh no. 
<laughs> oh no well this one you know what i feel like this one is more tame though except except you almost died no actually this one isn't isn't more tame you almost died oh my god you tried to breathe underwater i take it back <laughs> i take back what i said i i pushed a child because he wouldn't leave me alone wow okay but i hope the child is okay you know Nick. Uh, you could say long time you were maybe long enough to where I was a mod at one point. <gasps> you were! That's why you're so familiar. I kept thinking while I was talking, kept thinking like, where, where did, where have I seen you before? Where, where like, where, how, how do I know your name? I'm so sorry, Nidek. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm really bad with names. I, I apologize. I hope you're okay though. I hope you're alright, Nidek. Uh, me and my friend like each other. She isn't ready for a relationship yet, and no one has figured it out yet. Aw, that's nice though. Did you hear that? You did? That was a child screaming. No, there's also... Oh! Weird. Okay, never mind. Anyways, um... I wasn't subscribed to Nietzsche on Twitch. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. This is the most embarrassing story that we have seen today. The fact that this person was not subscribed... I can't believe you would do that. Honestly, I'm 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 more disappointed than anything. Thank you, Meta, for the sub. <laughs> Look, Meta did it. Why can't you? No, I'm joking. I can't do this. I feel so bad whenever I do it. <laughs> Still, really embarrassing. Embarrassing story. I once had a dream about my crush's brother and me getting together. That's fair. Thank you, Santa. See, Santa can do it too, guys. I feel like that's that's a reasonable dream. You can't control your dreams. Thank you, Nynek. Only six months. Wow, I am a bad viewer. Aww. Long break. Okay. Well, I hope your break was fun. I hope you're all right. Thank you for the sub for the six months. Thank you, darling um yeah i feel like you know if you spend a lot of time around your crush or thinking about your crush like it, it can happen inevitably i hope uh okay so little story time i feel this is funny i'm in love with my best friend who knows and know they don't love me for like two years i fell in love with him in the middle of june and since i heard heat waves i thought that song is so fitting but every time I see heat waves somewhere, I also see TNF. <laughs> oh no! That is so awful. Because they fell in love with them in the middle of June. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. You are not alone, someone said. Did not finish! Yes. Keep the people not knowing what dnf is it's did not finish they they think of did not finish you are right mm -hmm. sorry i had to change the lighting okay <clears throat> i got attacked by my rooster that was literally ginormous when i was like four I'm glad you're okay. I hope your rooster is okay. That sounds like a traumatic experience. Thank you, Ma Matthew. Uh, when I was like nine or eight, I was sleeping in a bed down the coast with my Nana and they made only three beds. 
and the others had been taken up. During the night, I needed to pee really bad, however. Welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. Uh, I had to pee really bad, however, her arm was there, so I was trying to sneak out. However, I was going to wake her up if I did. Just as I was about to get up because she moved, I had peed myself. So I rushed to the bin. No, to the to the room to bin my pants. When she woke up the next day, she had thought I was... It was her that peed due to her bladder issues. However, she slept naked. So she had no evidence. She didn't do it, meaning... I got away with it. I'm 17 now and I still haven't told her it was me. Okay, there is so much wrong in this story. Thank you, Wildkid, for the sub. Why would your grandma sleep naked next to you when you're eight or nine? That's weird. Don't do that. Other than that, that's fine. It happens. My friend had a crush on me twice and he... I'm still not over that. My god. <laughs> oh, wait. Thank you for the hundred. Uh, I had a, I've had a really rough day, but the stream has really helped me forget an issue that has been overwhelming. Thank you. Oh, my god. I hope you're all right. Um, my friend had a crush on me twice, and he's now my boy best friend. But people keep saying I like him, even though I don't. Please help. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do in your situation. I feel like if I knew you guys better, I could probably assess the situation more. But like that, I'm just like, eh, just fuck them. Whatever. Who cares what people say? You know? <clears throat> I remember always laughing when other when other gay people talked about the it's not a gay experience if you haven't fallen in love with your best friends and it was only until recently that i realized i was in fact in love with my best friend and i was hurting myself holding on to friendship out of that love because we stopped talking for reasons unknown to me she just dropped off the radar but would appear when she was heartbroken so yeah, don't fall in love with your best friend kids. Or do. Sometimes it works. Just didn't for me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh man. So many people in love with their best friend. Oh. I wish I could say something about it, but I genuinely don't know if I ever fell in love with my best friend. So I don't have any experience with that. I farted in the store and ran away two minutes. A kid came t came and smell it the stank of garlic and his mother came and yelled the kid <laughs> and yelled the kid for s shitting his pants again. <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> That's the worst. Uh, thank you for the euro. Um, I was on my way home from the library and threw up on my books. What do I do? Clean them up. Clean them up. Uh, I stare at my best friend for a little longer than normal when she's playing guitar. Aww. That's a cute way to say you are in love with your best friend. <laughs> Aww. So this one time I was staying at my grandparents and my grandma was was like a really new phone. I, I'm guessing she had a really new phone. Samsung Galaxy or something. And she didn't have a code on it. So at 1am or so I snuck down the stairs, grabbed her phone and played games all night. Next day 
hadn't slept all at all so i was so tired i fell asleep on their on their couch at 9 a.m and i woke up at 3 p.m i've never told anybody about it and hope none of my errors would never find out <laughs> that, this is not embarrassing that's 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 a fine story. Don't worry about it. I'm sure your IRLs wouldn't judge you for playing video games all night. Cause that's normal. Yeah. Um hi Nikki, last night I hit 200 on Twitch, and I want to say thanks for being a big inspiration. I appreciate you so much. Hey, congratulations! Let's go! <clears throat> One time, my boyfriend and I went skinny dipping, and there were definitely nighttime fishermen who saw my ass. Also, the lake we skinny dipped in was a town beneath it. Oh, that's fine. You know, you had your main character moment. Live out your main character moment with your boyfriend. That's fine. You're good. Don't worry about it. My ex cheated on me, so I slept with his mom. Oh my god. Me hot you heart, me hot you heart. I think he was mean. Wow. Can I print this and frame it on my wall? Wow. That is a power move. This is a this is this is wow. Wow. I once opened a Pokemon pack. Thank you, Anna. I once opened a Pokemon Mihachi pack and stole love, Pokemon Mihachi card love. from the Pokemon pack from, from a dollar store. It was Charizard EX, and I also still own the Pokemon card. I don't... Nice. That was... I couldn't, I couldn't process that sentence because you said Pokemon card so many times. All right, so I went on a roller coaster once with my sister and i was sitting in the front with her there were a couple of girls sitting behind us and their first time wait behind us and it was their first time getting on so i'm having fun i'm putting my hands up and the roller coaster is super high uh high power so the wind is blowing like crazy the wind blew my mouth open so i was sitting there like while having the time of my life but there's like spit flying off my mouth because it's it's blown open the ride stops and we're all giggling and laughing and i stop to listen to everyone else and the girls behind me says i didn't really like this ride i got all wet and i, I got all wet on it and i wanted to cry please it's so embarrassing oh no you spit on a girl on a roller coaster that is so sad that is that is embarrassing that is embarrassing I'm sorry. I'm sorry this happened. <laughs> Why did you pee your bed on purpose? Me and my friend were playing outside once after eating and then suddenly I got the urge to vomit, so I did. And then my dog comes out of nowhere and starts eating it while it comes down. Yeah, we still have a good laugh about it. I hate it though. Oh no! Come off the road for five bucks. Okay. That's... I don't know if that's admirable or just disgusting you know i am the kind of person the second i go inside my house i can leave the house for five minutes the second i go inside my house i have to wash my hands otherwise i feel disgusting 
so you would never see me eat gum off the road <laughs> like ever <laughs> i would hate that <laughs> but hey good for you i hope the five bucks were worth it i hope you bought yourself a toothbrush and toothpaste Uh, I secretly have a crush on my best friend. No! Uh, we flirted as a joke all the. We flirt as a joke all the time, and it doesn't help with the fact that I like her. We almost kissed before, like a year before, like a year ago, when we both got nervous. Then we both got nervous and got awkward. Sometimes I think she's dropping hints that she likes me back, and then um, just probably just joking around. Oh no! Oh man, this is so sad. Uh, when I was younger, I ended up looking at some... Not so... Wait. Sorry. When I was younger, I ended up looking at someone not so nice. I won't be saying what... Oh, at something not so nice? I won't be saying what. But you get the idea. Anywho, my mom ended up finding out. And out of fear, I blamed my dad. And he never came to see me again. We were separated way before. I told them both last year. Best prank of my entire life! What the hell? Why did it end with that? Why did it end with that? Best prank of your life? What a prank, dude. You didn't get to see your dad? Dude, epic prank. Never seeing my dad anymore. <laughs> I don't have a dad. I wish he came back. Another person that called their teacher mom. I'm saying, I'm telling you guys, it's normal. It happens. You know, it's fine. Now this one's embarrassing. Now this one's embarrassing. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> Um, so this is kind of stupid, but I have a crush on two people at the same time while those two people were dating each other. Um, good news, I dated one of them. Okay. I mean, good for you. <laughs> okay. My, my, we're making a poll right now. Are you in love with your best friend? Yes, no, no, yes, I'm in denial. Nice. <clears throat> uh, I got asked to prom by the theater program's Playboy, and I said yes to proceed to semi ghost him the entire planning process. I guess he got back at me by making out with someone else on the dance floor when I was in the bathroom. Didn't learn for another week that he did that. On the way home from prom, he asked me if I'd had my first kiss and responded no. I'm pretty sure he wanted something more from me, but I just got out of the car. And as soon as he pulled up to my house and ran, oh, I'm so glad you did. I'm so glad you did. Oh my God. Oh my God. <clears throat> ah, someone said I'm dating my best friend now. Well, let's go. Gihana. H-I-I, Nikki, your new piercing looks so good. Thank Take you. Take care. Love you less than three. I appreciate it. Yeah, I feel like it makes my nose look okay. I don't like how, like, well, my, I don't like how my nose doesn't fit beauty standards. My nose is fine. My nose is perfectly fine. But I personally, you know, as someone growing up in this society, I'm not happy with it. Um, But I feel like it makes my nose look cute. And I'm glad. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, when I was in first grade, I was very ch shy. But I was a very shy child and never dared to speak or to report. Thank you for the subs, guys. Thank you, Alec. Uh, one day I had to go to the toilet and didn't dare to report. Then I just peed my pants and everyone has seen it. Oh no! Oh no! That is so sad. I once peed myself in the middle of class. I remember that fondly my my 
who came? Someone came and brought me new pants. I don't remember who it was, but one of my parents had to come and get me new pants. Um, I was once at a festival in my local town park while stood with my friends. We were talking about these children climbing on a large chair, saying how they're probably going to fall. And as we are ready to walk away, a song plays, and I jumped on the bench next to next to me and started dancing. However, the bench was nailed into the ground and I fell off. Oh no, but not into the grass, onto concrete. I ended up breaking my elbow and dislocating my shoulder. Fun times, I was 16. Oh no. Oh no. Thank you, I love cats for the sub. Something similar once happened to me. Uh, when I was in theater class, we had to we had a scene where we had to dance around um and it was like a scene of like because we what we did in theater classes we took we either took uh theater like theaters and like musical pieces and we rewrote wrote them or we months, wrote our own you. things yeah. hey thank you thank you jules or we wrote our own thing and we had a scene where our main character was drugged uh or or, or took drugs and then she was like dancing around and everyone else in the background was dancing around to give the effect. And I was dancing on a bench and it was just like a like a sports bench and I fell off. It like dipped and I fell off the stage. <laughs> so I, I know the embarrassment that you went through. I do. I luckily didn't hurt myself though. And I hope you're okay. <laughs> I was the kid in my class who ate the ants in our ant fam i was eight years that was eight years ago and i still haven't told anyone from my class it was me who did it hi amz raid welcome to the stream everyone we're reading confessions as OMG, you can I see am a twitch baby. <gasps> thank you for the twitch baby we have a twitch baby now you're not the twitch baby we have a twitch baby Yay! Hey guys! I hope you had a good stream. What have you guys been up to? Thank you for the raid, MC. Um, we're reading confessions. Uh, like, I am in love with my best friend. And I peed myself. <laughs> That's been like, the confessions we've had. <laughs> when I was in fourth grade, it was my last year before I moved, so I decided to shoot my shot with my crush. And I wrote him a letter, and I wrote it as as anonymous so he wouldn't know uh and me and my wait so he wouldn't know and me and him were best friends so i could easily slip it onto his desk without him knowing so i did and i sat at my desk again for like uh for like five minutes later he finds out reads it and shows it to his friends and comes up to me and asks if i wrote it i managed to convince him and his friends that it wasn't me that wrote it but oh my god i was so embarrassed by that but i'm also glad i did shoot my shot uh when i did because i still like him but i have no ability to contact him uh, as i moved away oh oh man oh man that must have been so embarrassing you're like you're like mm -hmm. today today is the day where i give him my love letter but i don't want him to know so it's anonymous and he like instantly comes to you. He's like, did you write this? He's like, instantly he knows. <laughs> oh no, that is so sad. Thank you, Lexi, for the sub. I appreciate it. Oh. I, I did that though. Uh, I didn't do it anonymously though. That's where I went wrong. Because my first ever school crush. Thank you, Saki Frog Chair, for the gifteds. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, my first ever school crush. I wrote him love letters. But I think I only get like I think I only wrote him like gave him like one or two, and I left a lot of. <laughs> That's so stupid. No, no chat. Okay, this is actually really stupid. I don't know how. I don't know why I thought this would work. When I okay, I I wrote him love letters, and instead of giving them to him or like putting them into his like letter box, I put them in my letter box thinking it would get sent to him i put the love letters into my letterbox like at home and then like i think my brothers got a hand of it and then they used to make fun of me for it but like i don't know i don't know why 
I I really I really thought it would work. It didn't. <laughs> oh. I pooped on the side of my house when I was eight and blamed it on the dogs. We didn't have a dog. I pooped directly onto some rocks and my un uncle stepped in it. I haven't recovered since. Oh. Oh. Why? Why? Relatable? Whoever just said relatable, why would you? Why would you do this? You didn't even have a dog. Um. Hi, ghost. It's me again. I missed. Uh, you missed my donor. No, I'm sorry. I'm confessing another story. Once, once my brother pushed me, and it didn't hurt. But just to get back at him, I started fake crying and told my mom so she would be angry at my brother. I feel like this is such a younger sibling thing. I don't know if you are a younger sibling, but younger siblings do that. If you are a younger sibling, as an older sibling, I know your tricks. I know your tricks. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm the older sibling that gets in trouble. <laughs> When I first started watching people from the Dream SMP, I thought Jack was the same age as Phil. I mean, you know, I can see that. I can see that. Sorry, I just need to remind people. For well, the people who just joined, someone earlier said that they're unironically attracted to Jack Manifold, so I just have to, I just have to remind them. I just have to remind them sometimes. Thank you, Maisie. Appreciate it. I dated this guy and he cheated on me with this girl, but it turns out she liked me and he found out and then told her if she didn't help him cheat, he would tell me. Long story short, me and that girl are dating now. Hey, good for you. I think you made the better decision. I think you made the better decision. That sounds a lot better. I once accidentally moaned in class because I got to borrow someone's fidget toy and it felt actually good, so I just kind of came out of me. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. Did you guys watch Euphoria? That reminds me of the... I forget what it's called, but like the thing with the horses. Like that scene. With Cassie. Was it Cassie? I think so. I, I'm bad with names, I told you. <laughs> um, I once ate chicken nuggets without my family knowing then a few weeks later a sandwich and then they asked me if i had eaten and i said i didn't it has been seven years since and my family thinks there's something else living in the house besides us because <gasps> you're just eating the food i did that i used to eat i i used because i because when I, like, ever since I've been young, I've been playing video games, right? And I've been playing video games until, like, really long in the night. So, whenever, like, my friends, no, not my friends, sorry, my brain stopped working. Whenever my parents would go to bed, I would go out and eat my midnight snacks because I was hungry. And then in the morning, they were like, did you eat that? And I was like, no. I don't know. What's going on? I was asleep. I didn't eat anything. But I did. Sorry, mom. I once thought I was you. <laughs> I once thought I saw you in public, so I tapped, so I tapped on the shoulder, and it, I was so happy. And then it wasn't you. I was so embarrassed. No. I'm always so scared that that happens to people, because I see a lot of people being like, "Oh my God, I just saw a girl that looks just like me too." I don't look like Nia Chu in public. This is this is good lighting and camera angles and makeup. Most of the time I look like a gremlin. I'll show you how I look most of the time, guys. 
If you see a knee at you, that's not me. Do I have a picture? Not really. I was hoping I have a picture of of me. Oh well, you know what? Here. This is what I look most of the time when I walk around. <laughs> so yeah, don't worry guys. If you see a near you, say hello. You can say hello to me. But just remember. <laughs> I told my brother I bought him a gift for graduation and actually just gave him something he already had but hasn't used in a while. Hey, that's smart. He was probably really excited about it, wasn't he? He's like, oh my god, this is so cool. I really needed this. Um, Hey, so I have a confession. Uh, so when I was in third grade and I was friends with two girls who will stay unnamed for privacy reasons, I was just talking to them. <clears throat> I was just talking to them. One of them... Wait. I was just talking to them when one of them... I'll call M Emily said she disliked one of the be one of my best friends. She told me not to say anything. I started to hate them for how rude they were becoming. Fast forward to fifth grade. They completely ditched me for some other girl who was in my class. I became friends with that girl who replaced me. I hate her. Wait, sorry, I need to read that again. Hey, so when I was in third grade, I was friends with two girls who were their name. I was just talking to them when one of them, I call her Emily, said she disliked one of my friends. She told me not to say anything. I started to hate them. Oh, okay, so you started to hate Emily? Aw. That's fair, though. That's what I'm saying. If you, if, you're, if, if you realize you're not compatible or you don't like the way people act and your friends are, then, then that's fine. You know, you, you're allowed to move on. You don't have to, like, I feel like, Friends aren't linear, you know? They're like kind of like up and down and up and down and up and down. And if you can't, if you don't, if, if you realize you're not compatible, then that's fine. That happens. It's the same with relationships, you know? You want to, you want to surround yourself with people who fit to you and who you like and who like you. And, you know, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I still fall asleep with stuffed animals and mainly one of that my best friend gave me when I get anxious and worried. I'm 16. That's totally normal. I fall asleep with... You You, got, you, you guys have, see, have seen the little avocado squishmallow, right? That I got at VidCon. I, I've been falling asleep with that. Hell yeah. I, I snuggle him when I'm, when I'm sleeping. I have him in my arms. I squish him because he's a squishmallow. Yeah. Hell yeah. As you should. <clears throat> uh, one time a friend and I were walking her dog and I saw a half full Mountain Dew on the ditch. Inside the bottle was a red liquid. For some reason, I really wanted to drink it. So I did. Against my friend's advice. I'm like 90% sure that inside was a Hawaiian punch. Though to this day, I don't know. Why? Guys, if you see open bottles with liquids on the side of the road, please don't drink them. Especially if they're red. You don't know what's in there. Thank you, Avra. Wait. Um <clears throat> in kinder in kindergarten we had this like little ABC rug we would sit on and read stories on. Well I had to pee, but the teacher wouldn't let me go, so I peed all over the ABC rug and my dad found out and cursed out my teacher over the phone. I mean as he should. You were in kindergarten. 
Of course they should have allowed you to go pee. Yes, as, as he should. Good dad. Good dad. I once told a guy I had to stop dating him after three days because my family was super against him being my boyfriend. Whoa, I'm so sorry. <gasps> jump scared nerd. Um, why? Why? Rude. Okay, chat. I think, I think we're going to stop with the confessions here. I'm going to make a mark where we are um oh actually i didn't have the heart to tell him i accepted uh i accepted out of pity i was actually gay that was the whole confession the whole confession didn't show up because i didn't see it was a whole confession but i'm gonna make a mark here um and we're gonna read the rest of them not the rest of them but a lot more of them um later we still have like wait okay i'm gonna tell you where i am right now i'm gonna tell you I am at confession, wait, I am at confession 305 out of 5,600. So don't worry guys, we're gonna have a lot of these streams. But I'm enjoying them. Thank you, Edith, for the sub. I'm gonna, like, try and get a way, like, find a way of making them, like, easier to read and, like, more interactive. Um, Because I want to make these, like, multiple streams. I feel like I this really is really funny. Stream. I'm shocked that not one, but three of my confessions were read. Hey! Anyway, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you. I hope you do, too. Yeah, I want to make these multiple streams tomorrow um like i when said I was oh young, at school during actually one, went to the toilet and used a stall if i'm on not gonna go TV, yet the thing by the way the door got stuck so was forced to climb up over the side to get out i also watch nihachu streams both embarrassing stories right nikki excuse me no i'm not leaving yet because i have a thing that i need to do with you guys but we're done with the confessions uh but i'm going to do another stream with the confession. I know, rude, right? Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do more confession streams. I really enjoy them. I want to find a way to make them more interactive, though, because uh, I, yeah, because I, I, I feel like reading them is a little hard. But um, there's this thing. There's this memory game. Wait. So they want me to play a memory game for tomorrow. Because we're, because like I said, I'm going to Prime Video tomorrow, um, and they asked me to play this memory game because we're playing a memory game tomorrow. The only thing is, I don't know which one they want me to play. Is it this memory game? Improve memory. Love you, Nikki. make that a little quieter. Okay, we'll play this memory game. Oh, it's really just memory! Oh, we're playing memory! Okay, let's play memory, chat. Oh, wait, but we haven't seen them. Do we just... Okay. You have great memory? I do not. Oh, we found... No! Where was it? Yes! Oh, never mind. I have a really good memory. <gasps> yes! Oh, I'm so good at this! Oh my god, I'm actually so good at this. No wonder they hire me. Frick. No wonder they hire me to have good memory. No? No. No. Yes. Girl, yeah, I'm so good at this, guys. So good at this. Hello, Raiders. Welcome. We're playing Memory right now. Very fun. How are you guys? Did you have a good stream? Frick! Oh, yes! Oh! No! 
Yes. No! I want to get the bat. Okay. I want to get the freaking bat. There it is. Easy. I'm so good at this. Oh, we can play in full screen as well. Okay, let's play in full screen. Okay. Oh my god, the music's looping. The music's looping. No. No. We put on my music. Oh, no, that's not that's not right. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Call Jack? Oh yeah, we need to call Jack, right? But, but he didn't pick up. I think he's busy. I forgot. I didn't look. <gasps> I don't know what... Oh no. I don't know what any of them are. I was too busy calling Jack Manifold. No. No. Okay, can we restart? Let's restart. <gasps> no, he's busy. Sorry, chat. Jack Manifold's busy. No. This one. Yes. Yes. I'm just so good at this. No. Did we have the lady? Some <gasps> easy. No. Hi, Nikki. Did happy have the lady? 25 months. Hope everything's you, well with you. Can I get a late happy birthday? <gasps> birthday was two days ago. Smiley face. Oh, let's go. Happy late birthday. No. Yes. Yes! Okay. Easy. Easy. I'm just so good at this game. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh! Okay. No mistakes, chat. No mistakes. Never mind. We did a mistake. No mistakes from now on. Never mind. Now. No mistakes. No mistakes. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. Yes. Easy. Easy. Okay, let's play one more. We're playing one more chat. Okay, I'm just trying to see what's around here right now. Okay, we had this one. No. No. Here. Okay. Shoot. I'm already failing. Oh my god, I already forgot where everyone is. Maybe I'm not as good as in memory as I thought. I thought I was really good at, at memory. I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought this was gonna be easy. I keep confusing those. I think you need to see a memory doctor. Hey, my memory is fine. It's perfectly fine and probably quite average. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> With my memory. <laughs> oh.
it in a chat. Easy. See? I just wanted to show off how great I am at memory and remembering things. Especially short term. <laughs> Only 43 turns, guys. Easy. It's too easy. Thank you, Tyler, for the sub. I appreciate it. Anyways, chat. That's all I have for you today. I'm going to be back tomorrow uh, for the Prime Video Show on the Prime Video set. But it's not going to be pre-show. It's going to be the show. And then the watch party will do on their channel. Um, but the show we're doing online. So uh, I will see you there tomorrow. I also may or may not get a new tattoo tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. Just to be clear, saying watching your streams is embarrassing was a joke. Hope you have fun tomorrow, Nikki. <laughs> Thank By you. By the way, could you say when the stream will be tomorrow? Good night, Nikki. I don't know. Let me check. The stream tomorrow is going... 7 p.m. 7 p.m. is going to be the stream tomorrow. So yeah. I'll see you then, chat. Thank you for being here. Oh, who do we raid? You know what? Wilbur has been raiding me here and there. Let's raid Wilbur. Go ahead and give Wilbur my love, chat. And also, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you all are having a wonderful morning, evening, or day, wherever you are. And I will see you in the next one. It's taking a while. I'm waiting for the raid. Join the raid, guys. Come on, join the raid. I'm waiting for the raid. Come on, chat. Come on, chat. You got this. Join the raid. Join the raid, please. Please. Please join the raid. Please join the raid. All right. <laughs>